Have you ever wanted to go to London but found out accommodation costs to be just ridiculous high? Well, they are. But there are other ways around this. So you can either like rent an apartment and play it with a few friends. You can do it with an Airbnb or my favorite option is hostels. And there is many hostels available, but some of them are lackluster and not as high of a quality as you might imagine. But one that I found recently is Wombat's Hostel in City London. It's absolutely fabulous. It has one best hostel three years in a row. It has a lot of options, a lot of different lounges, bars, really nice sleeping accommodations, and it's pretty affordable. So let me show you around and see what's all the fuss about. Walking into our room is pretty great. As you can see on the left, you have a nice bathroom separate. You have a bunch of lockers. Then in here, you have a shower, a private bathroom. And inside here, you have five beds. So you have three on down there and a double bunk here. You can basically pick your own beds if you're coming in first. And you also get nice sheeting. Now he's duvet and a nice pillow. Everything is new and fresh for you. It's absolutely wonderful. So as you might have guessed, I am very impressed by the room. It's very nice, it's very secure, it's very quiet, which is surprising in London. But I still had to see the rest of the hostel, as well as the bar, the breakfast area, and all the game rooms. Yeah, it should be really nice. And they also have an outdoor area, like a patio, which oh, I can't wait to see. One of the main fantastic things about these hostels, the Wombats, is that you get a free drink coupon. You can get beer, a wine, coffee or tea, anything that you like. It's brilliant. So the last point I need to clarify about this hostel is the breakfast. If you go to the reception now for any time after you check you can buy a coupon for you the breakfast. It's around £5 per person and in this you get really all-inclusive buffet style breakfast and it's pretty great. They open a separate part of the kitchen specifically for this. So let's, let's actually talk a bit about this. So when this part of the kitchen opens, you go with your coupon towards one of the workers that are standing in the doorway and you give them the coupon and in return you get a little bowl, you get a plate, you get a cup for let's say orange juice, then you get a cup for coffee, hot chocolate, tea etc. And all of this is included. It's only handed out once you give them the coupon. And with that you basically have a buffet style so there's a lot of choice. You have fruit, you have vegetables, you have like a big bowl of mixed fruit. You have yogurts, you have different toppings, you have granola, you have muesli, you have oats, as well as cereal. They mainly have just cow's milk and a big jar, but I asked if they have any vegan options, and the guy gave me a specific apple soya milk, really handy, I enjoy that. Coffee machines, there's a few of them and they're all great. I've only had an Americano and espresso and it tastes fantastic. And then, food wise, there's bread that you can toast, that you can just like panini fry it. You have cheese, ham, eggs, beans, a bit of everything, just kind of like a traditional Irish or a traditional British breakfast. And it's all like included in a price, so it's well worth the five pounds that it costs, even if you're just coming here for a tea or coffee. And if you're just wanting a tea or coffee, it's actually one pound fifty for unlimited free hot drinks, which is a bargain at that as well. 
So yeah, I come here and always have the breakfast. So finishing up my kind of review and rundown showcase of the Wombat's Hostel. I spent the last night there, it was fantastic. We paid around £35 each for one night and that was a 5 bed shared dorm. Pretty nice, it was a mixed dorm so there was women and men also there. Oh great, I had to say that. The beds were comfy, then it was good. Quilts were a bit old but I didn't mind at all, they didn't smell, they were nicely washed. Pillows were comfortable. He had a nice little bedside lamp. He had a huge compartment, like a cabinet behind the bed. As well as he had a little shelf for phones, whatever else was charging. Really nice stuff. The bathroom, nice and clean. You gotta remember to bring your own toiletries, such as shower gel, toothpaste, toothbrushes, all that kind of things. You gotta bring that with you. But everything apart from that in the room was brilliant. There is one thing I need to tell you. In this hostel, you have a key card. And to get this key card, you had to leave a sort of ID in the reception. I left my personal age card, which is kind of like an equivalent to a driving license or let's say a social security card, something with your face and name on it. You leave that in the reception, you get a key card. And with this, you can open any door in the hostel, as well as open your bedroom. And then it also is used as a locking mechanism for the lockers. So you put your own stuff in your locker in your bedroom, and that's perfect. It means you don't have to carry these little locks with you, and you don't need to worry about that. It's absolutely great, and the breakfast was fantastic too. So, thumbs up for Wombats, I'd give it maybe a 4 out of 5, and one of the best hostels I've been to. It's also a really good family hostel, and that's not a thing you can often say. So yes, thank you for watching. Ale o co tu chodzi z tym chłopakiem? To jest wejście i to ma wejście. Widzisz, ja byś miał krótkie nogi, byś w życiu nie wyszedł.